Fox News alert. The Obama administration facing harsh criticism in some corners this morning over its backdoor deal with the Taliban to bring Sergeant Bo Bergdahl home. Many of the critics, members of Congress, who were never consulted about releasing five Gitmo prisoners who are labeled as the worst of the worst. Congressman Mike Rogers is the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee. He joins us live from our bureau in D.C. Uh, Congressman, at the very least, they're supposed to give you a call. Nothing. Well, it was odd. I think the Obama administration negotiated with the Obama administration if they had to follow the law of Congress, and the Obama administration decided that the Obama administration did not have to call Congress. I mean, this is, this is absolutely ludicrous. And the thing is, some notion that you, you couldn't uh, do this for sensitivity reasons, you know, the National Security Committees were briefed uh, all, the entire time of the uh, Osama bin Laden information and then raid planning and then the raid itself. So some notion that, that uh, this was so sensitive that, that people couldn't keep a secret is just wrong. And it's illegal. They, they had a 30-day notice mm -hmm. under the law to, to uh, notify Congress about the moving of prisoners. And they have a constitutional and legal statute to keep Congress currently informed. And the reason you do that is you want some other people's opinion. You, they were just talking to themselves about what a great idea this was. If they'd have talked to anyone else in a bipartisan way, by the way, people were saying this is really not a good idea to open up and end a chapter in American history where we don't negotiate with terrorists. Chairman, true or false, Leon Panetta walked away from a deal that wasn't even this good for the Taliban. We're going to we release two at a time and then see if they went back to the fight. And we walked away from that deal, and now we like that deal. What changed? Well, Leon Panetta isn't Secretary of Defense anymore. That certainly changed. And I, I, I do question that they're just the, the right team wasn't in the room to try to walk through the problems with this thing. Think of it. If they're, what they're saying is that these people have a travel ban for one year, you have troops that are going to be there, according to the president, for only two years more. That means they get one, one good year to get their wax in on U.S. soldiers on the ground in Afghanistan. And some notion that this band of characters, these terrorists, are not going to get reengaged in this fight in some way sure. is absolutely naive and it's dangerous and it's uh, every soldier who's on the ground should be a little upset by this I know I am absolutely you know the the White House has been saying well the reason we had to act right now and why we didn't call Congress was because the because of the guy's health and Jay Carney was asked about that by Matt Lauer within the past hour or so and he goes yeah well uh, he's been held for a long time it doesn't look like it was health oriented. It looks like it was simply political. They were trying, the White House was, to put points on the board. Well, we can't think of, uh, those of us who have tried to look at it and understand what they were thinking by doing this, can't figure out why they were doing it. It certainly looks like a political stunt to me. And, and listen, I'm glad that the family has their loved one back, and that's important. Sergeant Bergdahl is going to be back home. That's a good thing. But we, as members of, that have responsibility on the broader question, right. have to understand what are the implications for all the soldiers that are on the ground today, all of their families. And I tell you, this was just, to me, was the wrong answer to that problem. Well, what about, what are they thinking now? What is it going to take to get Khalid Sheikh Mohammed out? How big of a, uh, a citizen do we have to grab uh, of an American citizen for them to come back to the table? Chairman, do you plan on doing anything about this? Is there anything you can do? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is do a complete review of, of uh, a, how it unfolded to make sure. And I, again, I think that they were in violation of keeping the, how, the uh, Congress currently informed on an operation as sensitive as this. Remember, it's a, you had basically uh, secret negotiations. Remember when they did this with Iran, it didn't turn out all that well. We've, we've alienated a lot of allies uh, when they tried to do this secret uh, uh, deal with Iran about their nuclear power plan. Uh, and now they're doing a secret deal on these negotiations, and it's concerning. You can't, this is a very bad pattern, uh, and it's a dangerous pattern. And so we need to stop that. We need to nip this in the bud right now. We're going to go do a thorough review about what this thing looked like and why, uh, how they did it and how it unfolded and what assets and resources they used uh, and why and what legal opinion they used to say that they didn't have to follow the sure. law of the United States in doing this, and then we're going to have to take it from there, and I hope to start that as early as this afternoon. Well, good luck with the review. I'm sure the White House will send all those emails over uh, promptly. Right. They we always know how do. they operate. Uh, Congressman Mike Rogers, uh, the chairman, sir, thank you very much.